I've been wanting to do this video for a really long time because you guys often ask me to incorporate more like scent, like fragrance things into my channel besides just perfume. So today I'm really excited because I'm obsessed with candles guys, like candles and perfume are probably like my two fragrance obsessions, like I don't really go for anything else, like candles are my thing and obviously perfume. And all of the candles in this video I'm going to mention today are from one brand. This isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. It's just my favorite brand of candles. Um, and the brand is Glass House. So if you live in Australia, I feel like Glass House is massive in Australia. Everybody knows Glass House candles here in Australia. Um, and they're just, for me, they're like the best candles and I just love them so much. And I've tried a lot of candles, but Glass House is definitely up there as like my top, in my top three favorite candles ever, like candle brands ever. So I just wanted to say that before going on, all of them are from Glass House, but that's because they're my favorite. So what I'm going to do is kind of like go through the candles with you guys, talk about them a little bit and tell you guys about the scents. I've got the notes on my phone as well, so I can maybe read them a little bit to you guys so you, so you get a better idea. So let's get into it. I am so, so excited. Like I said for this video, like, are you guys obsessed with candles? If you are, please, please, please tell me your favorite candles down below because I will... I will be getting them because do you know what? I have been purchasing glass house candles since I was probably about 13 years old. I've always been a scent obsessed freak. So I literally have been purchasing glass house candles. This one in particular that I'm about to show you guys. I've been purchasing this specific candle for like, yeah, since I was like 13 years old. I like to keep all my candles in their boxes. I don't know why. Like I don't like to keep my perfume in their boxes, but I love keeping my candles like in their beautiful little box. So starting out with, uh, I think that this is like their bestseller. Like everybody knows Glass House because of this one candle and it is the Taha. If you like gourmand fragrances and you like sweet fragrances and delicious things and vanilla and caramel and anything that smells edible, you have to get this candle. That's that's all I'm going to say. You have to get this candle, the Taha candle. I Like I said, guys, I've literally been purchasing this one since I was 13 years old because, typical me, it literally smells like buttery caramel and vanilla. It's got a very buttery, um, toffee, like thick kind of smell to it. I don't know how to explain that, but it's caramel and vanilla, but it's very, like I said, very buttery. I haven't been burning it yet because this candle is intense. Like this is, this will like smell out your entire house. There are some candles that I'm going to mention today that don't smell out your entire house. They're more like a bit, bit of a softer candle. This one, this one will literally smell your entire house, make your entire house smell like vanilla and caramel and buttery toffee. If you like sweet fragrances and sweet scents, you've got to get this one. At the end of this video, I'm going to like rate the candles and tell you guys which ones I think you have to get and which ones I would say like, you know, maybe not, but I will tell you guys like which ones you have to spend your money on right now. So the next candle that I have here, um, she's like half in and out of her box right now. Why did that sound so disgusting? I'm sorry. <laughs> this one is called Florence. The scent is Wild Peonies and Lily. Now this one is one of the lighter candles, like I was saying earlier, the vanilla one. Oh my God, so nice. The vanilla one is very intense. This one is a lot lighter. I feel like this is a great candle to burn in the summertime, like the summer and spring, because I don't know about you guys, but I don't want my house smelling like thick, sweet, heavy stuff in the summertime like that's just not 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 what I'm gonna do but I love burning this one in the summertime this one is more of a recent one to me and it just smells beautiful I have the notes on my phone I just thought I would include the notes so you guys get a better idea the top is fruity cherry peach the middle is floral white flower peony lily jasmine and the base is amber musk and woody it's just a beautiful fragrance like you really get yeah, you really get the lilies, you really get the peony. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I feel like this, if you live in Perth, you know what I'm about to say right now. This is like a rich peppermint grove wife in her beautiful home. A rich peppermint grove wife um, in the summertime. She's burning this candle and her house just smells like perfection. Guys, listen to me right now. I actually have one of their new releases that is launching. Wait, let me check my phone. It hasn't launched yet. It's available from the 18th of March. And I am so, oh my God, I am so excited to talk about it because this fragrance, this candle is incredible. And I never thought I would like this sort of candle because you guys know 
I'm not a big fruity girl. This is a fruity candle. And I'm going to tell you guys like the notes and stuff in it. But this candle, how cool is the packaging on this candle? This candle is called Grandma's Punch, which I absolutely love the name. Glasshouse often release like limited edition candles and they'll only be there for a certain amount of time for like a season. And then they go away, which makes me so sad because some of their limited edition candles, like I'm not going to lie, like most of their limited edition candles are the bomb. And I get really sad that they like take them away from us. But look at how cool this packaging is. I think it is so awesome. And the scent, you guys, oh my god, I've been burning this one so much. I am done. This scent is absolutely insane and I'm just going to read the notes for you guys and tell you what I think it smells like. So the top is fruity pomegranate. Pony Why can't I say that word? Pomegranate. There we go. Pom pomegranate. The middle is uh, wild strawberries and apple blossom and the base is musk, vanilla and coconut. Now, definitely for me, I get the wild strawberries and the apple blossom the most. It is a very, very fruity candle, but very, very sweet. You can definitely smell the vanilla, the musk and like the coconut in the base. You really can, which for me makes it kind of like more interesting than just like a fruity candle. This one is very, very strong. I've been lighting it, like I said, a lot at the moment and it literally fills my entire apartment, which my entire apartment is very small, but it fills the entire place and it smells insane. Like I said, very, very strong, but absolutely amazing if you like sweet kind of fruity candles. You have to get this one. And like I said, it's available from March, I say 18th, I think, and get it. Like get it while you can. Honestly, guys, they're limited edition candles sometimes are the best things that you've ever smelled. Okay, so the next one that I have here is called Tahiti and this one is tiare flower and coconut. So this one again, just by going off the name of it, this one is much more of a summer, kind of spring summer candle in my opinion. And again, this one is Oh, the top is fruity bergamot mandarin, the middle is jasmine, coconut and lily, and the base is musk, amber and vanilla. I would definitely say you smell the jasmine, you smell the coconut, and you smell the lily. And that's probably what I would say that you smell. I don't really get many, um, I don't get any fruity notes in here. I get a little bit of the bergamot, but it's more of, like I said, the white florals with the coconut, and then the musk and vanilla and amber in the base. And it is amazing, you guys, like this one. If you like coconut, let me just say that, if you like coconut and you're a coconut fan, you've got to get this candle. It smells insanely good. And I can see this again being one that you burn in the summer and the spring. It smells kind of tropical and like a vacation in a candle. Definitely. Oh my god, this next candle is probably up there as my top three favorite candles ever. I love this one. And I feel like this one is a little bit more underrated, maybe from the brand. I feel like this one doesn't get that much attention and I don't really want it to get attention because it's like my favorite one. And I love the color scheme of the box like that. That color scheme right there is just pure beauty. I think it looks so bougie and it's just amazing. Anyways, this one is called The Hamptons and it is teak and pettigrain. So I, I will again read the notes from this fragrance. Oh my God. I will again read the notes of this candle, but you guys, yeah, this is easily one of my favorite candles ever. It's so, so beautiful. I'm going to read the notes right now. It is juniper berry, green cognac, I don't know what that smells like, pettigrain, lemon verbena, iris, fig leaves, ambergris, teak, white patchouli. Now, I definitely get the patchouli in this fragrance. And I think that that's why I like it so much because I love patchouli and I definitely get the fig leaves, um, the lemon verbena definitely. Um, and I have no idea what green cognac smells like, but those are the things that I get the most in here. It's kind of spicy, a little bit musky, sweet. I feel like this one is a great one for the fall. If you like anything that's like pumpkin spice or any of those sort of like Bath and Body Works candles, which... It's another, that's another day. <laughs> I prefer, like, obviously I prefer glass house, but if you like those sort of like spicy pumpkin spice full candles, you will love this one, but it smells a lot more like high quality, if that makes any sense. Like it's just absolutely stunning. And I'm going to be burning this one a lot now because I've just come into the fall and I'm just so excited to start burning all of my more like wintry sort of candles. Okay. So I have one more limited edition candle here and this one, I don't even know if you guys can get this one anymore. 
I don't know, but it is absolutely, like I said, all of these candles are incredible, you guys. I'll tell you guys which ones are my absolute favourites, so at the end, so it's not too overwhelming for you. But this one is called Sunsets in Capri, and it is White Peach and Sea Breeze. And yes, it really does smell like peaches and the sea breeze. It literally, guys, smells like peach and salty sea air, and it is just heavenly. Like, it... It has cassis bud, which I definitely smell, mandarin, ginger, and peach. I get all of that. I really get the ginger, and I really get the peach. And then it has jasmine, lily, and peach again in the middle, and amber, musk, and marine notes in the base. Like, I really do get the mandarin in there, along, oh my god, it's so good, along with that sea salty kind of air vibe. And it's amazing. And this one is a little bit stronger. Um, a lot of the more tropical kind of summery ones are very light, and they don't, like, project or fill up your house too much. This one definitely does and I just love it so much. So I'm going to be burning this one quite a lot at the moment and it's just, it's just so gorgeous. So definitely check that one out if you want to be transported to the cliff with the salty air. So two more. I promise not to go into it too much. Um, so the next one that I have here is called Montego Bay and this one is coconut. Wait, did I say that right? This one is coconut and lime. Again, one for more of the summer spring. I personally like to go for a lot lighter candles in the summer and spring. Like I'm not one of those people that will always be burning like a thick, heavy vanilla fall candle in the summer. Like I like to play with my candles and like do like more tropically lighter lighter candles. I was gonna say fragrances. Lighter fragrant lighter candles in the summer and spring and then I go for like my more heavy, thick, sweet, delicious candles in the, oh my god yes, in the fall and winter, sorry, I'm getting off track by the way that these smell. So the top notes are lime and lemon, the middle is vanilla and amber, and the base is coconut and mandarin oranges. And I would say I get pretty much all of that in this candle. Now I do have to say, I know that this is one of their best sellers, but if you had to only get one, if you were going to go for one candle that features the coconut note, I would definitely go for the, yeah, the Tahiti. I would definitely go for the Tahiti one over the Montego Bay. So I know it's, it's a hard one because I love them all, but if you wanted to get a candle that like heavily features coconut, like that's like one of the main notes, and you were tossing up between both, I may have to recommend the Tahiti one, the Tiare Flower and Coconut, because it just smells so gorgeous to me. But this one is also equally as amazing because it has that lime note in there, which is beautiful. Okay, and then the last candle is again one of my favorites from the brand. This one is called Coney Island and it is Burnt Sugar and Fig. Guys, this one is so good. And again, this one is a little bit more of a fall candle. Um, I'm going to be burning this one now quite a lot because... Yeah, I absolutely love this one. It doesn't smell as fall as the um, the Hamptons candle. It doesn't smell as like fall vibes. This one still could be burnt in the summer and spring for sure. But I'm going to be burning it a lot right now. And I'll read out the notes once again so you guys get a better idea. Now this one has a lot of notes in here. It has Mediterranean fig, white peony, passion fruit, bergamot, and peach. The middle notes are wild jasmine, baby freesia, vanilla blossom, coconut milk, and the base is vanilla, amberette, fig leaf, caramelized sugar. So I don't really know how to explain this one. It, I wouldn't say I get all of those notes in here. To me, it really, it does smell like fig, but it's definitely got a caramelized sugar vibe to it as well. But very, it actually has like a lightness to it. Like there is a certain freshness and a certain lightness to it. It doesn't smell as thick and heavy as like the vanilla one or anything like that there's still like a brightness there and I absolutely love it for that reason. That one is Coney Island and like I said, it's definitely one of my favorites. So I think I may just like run through my favorite ones from the brand so that you guys feel a little bit more um, directed of where to go. Um, but yeah, I also want to mention, oh my God, I smelled these two candles in store like a few days ago and absolutely I need them. Like, I need them. Like, right now. They are the, um, hold on, let me get the names of them so I don't miss mess it up. The Arabian Nights Candle from Glasshouse. Oh, my arm. <laughs> oh, my lord. It is absolutely insane. And it is a white oud candle, so there is oud in it. It is phenomenal. Like, absolutely phenomenal. And I wish I had it. And it would be right up there as one of my favorites. And same with the Cypress Candle, which is sea salt and saffron. And if you're a guy you need to get that candle because it smells like Lanouille de Lom from Yves Saint Laurent. Like it literally smells 
like the sexiest guys cologne that you've ever smelled and I absolutely need it. So I'm going to quickly run through which ones are my favourites. My favourite one at the moment is the Hamptons one, definitely is like my, yeah, it's, it's up there as one of my favourite candles ever, it's just perfect to me. Um, okay, and then I also really highly recommend the Taha candle, obviously. This is the gateway into Glass House, in my opinion. Also, the Rio de Janeiro candle from them is also a bit of a gateway. They're like a gateway drug. Like, once you burn one of these, you will just fall in love and want to buy everything from the brand. Um, well, at least that was my experience. Then I have to say, oh my god, like, okay, if you like perfumes like Yves Saint Laurent, Mon Paris, this is like Mon Paris in a candle. Like, this is literally like Mon Paris in a candle, but even sweeter and even more delicious than Mon Paris. So, Grandma's Punch, it's launching March 18th, I believe. I will link it down below for you guys. Like I said, I'm not sponsored, but wow, this is insanely good. Then I would also say, unfortunately, I really love the limited edition uh, Sunsets in Capri. It's just beautiful. I, I, I love it. And I'm sorry it's limited edition, but it's definitely one of my favourites. And then I also love the Coney Island because it's gorgeous. It really is. It's like the perfect balance for me between being still a kind of a fresh candle, um, but it's also got that kind of like spice, the sweet, the fruitiness. It's just beautiful. I also really love the Florence candle. And I was actually talking to a lady in David Jones the other day, and this is like, I'm pretty sure she lives in Peppermint Grove. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, she told me that she loves this candle. It's like her favourite. She said that Florence was her favourite and the Arabian Nights one. I'll probably say that those are my favourites. And uh, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to kind of switch it up and do a candle video. Because as you can see, I am very much obsessed with candles. I love candles. I think that they bring such a beautiful, like just a beautiful vibe to your house like I don't know anybody that doesn't like candles like I don't know anyone so these are my favorite candles my favorite brand obviously I own candles from other brands but I had to do a little spotlight on glass house because I'm Australian they're an Australian company and I absolutely adore them like I really genuinely do and like I said I've been buying glass house candles this candle specifically for like since I was 13 years old so I just wanted to say that thank you guys so much for watching this video I'll have everything linked down below every information that you need to know will be linked down below and I'll talk to you guys soon bye